All right, hey everybody. Uh, I want to show you uh, just very, very quickly how we can use the calculator to to make our lives a little bit easier in the chapter on sequences and and series. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, my goal here is just to show you a couple tools in the calculator. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to build a sequence here. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a geometric sequence or an arithmetic sequence or or whatever. To be honest with you. Uh, so I'm just going to start with a, a really straightforward, uh, let's say, arithmetic sequence. Let's say Tn is equal to, uh, I don't know, let's say 2 plus uh, n minus 1 times 3. Okay, so just a, a very straightforward arithmetic sequence here. Let's say that I wanted to figure out uh, what the 20th term in the sequence was. Or actually, better stated here, let's say I wanted to figure out what the... Okay, let's do it. Let's say, let's say terms. I want to know t20 dot 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 up to t30, something like this. Okay, we'll show sure you what your calculator can do. Now, I, this is—I know this is going to be a little bit awkward, but uh, uh, it's Christmas break here, and this is the best I could do because I forgot my calculator at the school. But here we go. So here's your here's your calculator here. What I want you to do is go second uh, zero to get into the catalog. Now, I want you to press the natural log button, which is over here, okay, the little LN button, because that's going to take us to the S's, and then we're going to go down, 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 to SEQ, okay, SEQ with the parenthesis there, and I'm going to press enter there, and I'm going to, I'm going to draw this up on the board here, so what I did here is I chose, I chose SEQ bracket, now I'm going to write out what I'm going to enter here, then I'll, I'll do it on the calculator here, just to show you what's going on. I'm going to enter out the, the sequence right here. So 2 plus bracket, but I'm going to use x instead of n just because okay, it's, it's easier to use in the calculator. I can just use the variable button. So I'll do x minus 1 close bracket times 3 comma. Now I'll show you where the comma is in just a second if you don't know. Comma x. Okay, now you need to put that in there. What that does is that tells the calculator what the variable is in this expression, okay? Because you could have other variables in there that the calculator would then treat as constants, okay? But this is the one that's a variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enter the low term of our of our uh, little section here, and then the high bound of our section, okay? So what this is going to do is this going is going to evaluate the terms from 20 to 30. Okay, it's going to basically what it's going to do is it's going to substitute 20, 21, 22, 23, blah, 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 up to 30 in for x in this expression right here. And so what that looks like, okay, I choose my sequence here, and then I will enter that in. So it'll be 2 plus bracket x minus 1 bracket times 3. Now, oh, sorry, I'm doing that right off the side there, but anyway, there you go. Now, comma. The comma button is right above the 7, okay, comma, then we tell it x, comma, 20, comma, 30, close bracket, press enter, thinks for a second here, and then it lists off all of those terms, okay, so the 20th term is 59, and then it goes up, and I can just use the arrow key to go across there. So it's kind of a nice little tool, it can determine all those terms in the sequence. If you wanted to know very, very specifically what the 20th term in the sequence was, what you would do is instead of going 20, 30, I would just enter 20, 20. Okay. So if I pull that up again, and I will put second enter there to pull that up again, I will come over there and press 20, 20. And then it just tells me that the 20th term right there is the number 59. So the 20th term of this sequence is 59. Okay. Now, the calculator can also be used to do a summation. Okay. So it can tell you whatever terms you want. It can give you a specific term if you want. But we can also figure out a summation. Let's go back up here. Let's say that this is our, our sequence again. But now what we want to do is we want to add up. Uh, okay, what have we got here for a sequence here? Let's say it's, it's going to be 2 plus, I'm going up by 3s, obviously, so this will be 5 uh, plus 8 plus dot, dot, dot. Let's say that I want to add this up to the, I don't know, up to the 30th term. Okay? What I can do here is go up and do this. I'm going to tell the calculator, I'm going to pull that up again, so second, enter. 
I want the calculator to start from the first term, so I'm going to get rid of the 20, comma, and then I'm going to have it go up to 30, and then I'll just delete that extra zero there. So what the calculator is going to do now is it's going to take and it's going to evaluate the first 30 terms. I'll press enter here. It's going to give me all of those, those terms up to the 30th term. So what I did here is I did sequence, okay, 2 plus bracket x minus 1, 3, comma, x, comma, 1, comma, 30. And I closed the brackets, and it gave me all those terms. Now, here's where the summation part of this kicks in. So now what I'm going to do here on my screen, I'm going to go second 0 once again to get into the catalog. And I know this is an awkward way to do this, but anyway. It's going to get me the, the catalog here. I'm going to press, whoops, sorry, not that. I'm going to press number 4. Now the reason I press number four is it takes me to the T's. Now I know what you're thinking. Sum doesn't start with a T. The poor man is losing it. He's had far too much Christmas cheer, but that's not what's going on here. If I go down to the T's and then I press the up arrow, ha ha ha, summation. Okay, so what we're going to do here, or actually, sorry, I don't want summation. I actually want sum. I want to go one up here. Okay, forgot that there was a, an extra feature here in this new version. I'm going to choose sum, and now I'm going to tell it to sum, and I press second, negative symbol, the answer. What it's, what it's going to do is it's going to go back up and sum up that, that uh, sequence ahead of it, and I will get, if I do sum now of answer, I get 1365 is the sum that I'm looking for. So you can use the calculator, you can use the sequence feature to find specific terms in the sequence or to find a whole bunch of them if you want to. Then if you use second sum, or sorry, second uh, zero to get into the catalog, go down to, uh, to the S's again and get to sum, uh, you can sum up that sequence again uh, very, very quickly. In fact, the, the more you work with this, the faster you'll get. So hopefully that helps, that gives you an idea of how to use the calculator. Uh, again, the quick way to get there, if you want to get the sequence, Okay, to find sequence, to find sequence, I want you to press second uh, zero to get into the catalog. Then I want you to press LN to get you to the S section alphabetically. Then you're just going to go down until you get to SEQ with the, the parentheses there. If you want the summation, second zero to get you into the catalog. Number four gets you into the T's, and then you'll go up until you get to sum with the bracket there. And then you can either do sum and then sequence, add them all together in one step, or do it in two steps, uh, however you feel comfortable. Hopefully that, hopefully that helps.